In this video, I'm going to use GeoGebra.org to create a geometric reflection. So you go to GeoGebra.org. In the top right corner, you can sign in with your Google account. Come over to the waffle. In this video, I'm going to use GeoGebra Classic. Once I get to GeoGebra Classic, I'm going to click on the geometry option so that I have a clean drawing area. So I'm going to go to the line tool, choose line, and plot two points. And that line is going to be my mirror, my line of reflection. Every time you do a construction, you should get in the habit of clicking the arrow tool so that I don't construct anything additional um, that I don't want in this, this worksheet. So I don't like how small the letters are. I'm going to come over to this menu option and I'm going to hit settings and choose a larger font and then hit the X to close it. So here's my line of reflection. I can grab it and move it around. And now I need to put a figure that I want to reflect across the line. For this video, I'm going to create a triangle. So you click the polygon tool, and then you click your three points, and you must click your starting point in the end to close the polygon. And then once again, go to my arrow tool so that I don't construct any additional points or sides. So I would like to reflect this triangle across this line of reflection. So to do that, um, on the menu, I have this transformations button. The first one is reflect about a line. And then I'm going to drag and highlight the triangle and then click the line. And we see the triangles reflected. Again, click on the arrow tool so I don't construct anything additional. And if we move my pre-image around, you see that the reflection uh, moves with it. So the corresponding reflected point where the image point is moving with it. So we want to turn this into a tutorial. So I'm going to add uh, segments to this to model the uh, way we would construct a reflection with perpendicular segments that are equidistant from both sides of the mirror. So I'm going back to my line tool. I'm going to click on segment. And I'm going to click the pre-image point and the image point. And then back to my arrow tool. Click that segment I just constructed. I'm going to change its color to red and dashed. And I'm just going to reposition my points. And then I'll construct my next segment for my pre-image and image point. And I'll change those properties so that it is red and dashed. And one more. OK, so now we have the segment. We just want to show that the segment is perpendicular. And to do that, I'm going to click on the angle measure tool. And I will click on the uh, segment and then the mirror and we see that the angle is there. I don't like the way that the angle went so I'm going to click the undo button. I'm going to use the angle tool again. This time I'm going to click the mirror first then the segment and we see I got the 90 degree angle. That's what I wanted. Back to my arrow tool. I'm going to right click, choose settings. I do not want to show the label I just want to see the right angle. I'll close this. I will click the uh, right angle again and choose the graphics option. I want it to be red. And this is the transparency slider. I'm going to put it all the way to zero. And now we see I have a right angle box there that has a transparent um, interior region. So it looks like a right angle. I will come back to my angle measure tool. I will click the mirror. Then the segment to get my right angle. I will right click on the angle and choose settings again. I don't want the label there. I do want to change this to red and transparent. And we'll do this one more time. Right click, settings, turn off the label close the settings, and now I'll click on the angle, choose the graphics button, 
change it to red and transparent. Great. So here's my construction of a triangle being reflected. Both triangles are the same color. Maybe I'll change that, make one of them blue and one of them green. And from here, I want to be able to toggle um, the perpendicular segments on and off so that they're not always visible in my construction. So up on our menu here, we have some additional tools. I'm going to choose the checkbox tool. And I'll make a couple of different checkboxes. I'll click a space and the caption. I'll say show slash hide mirror. And the line of reflection is the mirror. So the line of reflection I created was line AB. So when I click this drop down, I'm looking for line AB. There it is. And I will hit OK. So now I have a checkbox that will turn the mirror on and off so it's either visible or invisible. I'm going to add another checkbox. And I'll say show slash hide segments. Let me say reflection segments. And for this, I'm going to look for the segments that are connected to C and C prime or D and D prime. So here's a segment. I'm looking for it to be with the same point and its mirror. So here's D and D prime. Here's C and C prime. And here's E and E prime. The other thing I want to hide are the angles. So I'm looking for um, the angles, which are going to have Greek letters, alpha, beta, delta. Oh, right at the top, alpha, beta, gamma. And that's everything I want to hide from there, so I'll hit OK. So that's going to hide the reflection segments. Now, before I can test it, I need to refresh. But before I refresh, I must save my work. If I refresh before saving, I'll lose all of my work. So we come up to the menu. We'll hit Save. I'm just going to title it Geometric Reflection Activity. It's going to be saved to my GeoGebra. That's why I log in with my Google account. It's a GeoGebra cloud to save my work. It's going to be shared. If I want, I can make it private. I'm going to keep it shared. That means if you search GeoGebra for this activity, you'll find it. And I hit Save. And once it's done saving down here, then I'll refresh my page. It says Saved Successfully. So right now, if I click this, oh, cancel. Always go back to your arrow tool. If I click this, it's not working. But when I refresh, We see that it's working now. So we constructed it, but it doesn't um, quite work until after we've saved our work and refreshed it, and then it loads the, the program properly. And we see that we can turn the mirror on and off. We can turn the uh, segments on and off. Uh, with the mirror, I should have had points A and B disappear with it. So I'm going to delete this toggle switch, I'll redo the toggle switch. Line AB, but let's include point A and point B. Okay. And I can move this around to wherever I want to position it. Um, and I can do that with this other checkbox as well. So once again, I'll save it because I made a, a change. I'm waiting for it. It says saved successfully. Let's see if both of them work. Good, they're both working. And now I see that when I take my mirror away, it's taking the points away. Um, perhaps I want to make another toggle switch, one that makes the pre-image um, visible and invisible, or the image um, show or hide. Show slash 
hide pre image. And we want to make sure we choose the points C, D, and E along with their edges. So point C, point D, point E. So I'm looking for segment C, D. Segment DE and segment EC. Here it is. And I'm just going to look here. We have triangle CDE. That's the interior region. So I want to choose that as well and hit OK. So go back to my arrow tool so I don't construct anything else. So it's working, we see. Again, I'm just going to hit save to make sure I don't lose any of my work. And now I'm using my right click button to move this. So I'm holding down my right click on my mouse. Um, if you're using a trackpad, you hold down a two finger click to move it around. Because um, if I click on it with a left click, it's going to activate the checkbox. And I'm gonna put one more checkbox to show hide the image. And now we want to list all the points. So we want to find the point uh, point C prime, which is mirrored of C. We want to hide that. Point D prime, point E prime. We want to find the segment uh, D prime, E prime. The segment E prime, C prime. And the segment C prime, D prime. And then we should find the triangle which is T prime, which is C prime, D prime, E prime, and hit OK. And now I can click on my arrow tool and test this next toggle button. Good. It looks like I've got everything. Right click to drag and reposition it so I can turn everything on and off on here. So I'm going to show the pre-image. Then I can show the mirror. I can show the reflection segments. They're perpendicular and um, they are equidistant on both sides and then I can show the image. So it walks us through the construction. I'm gonna hit save once more. Again, it's shared, so if you were to search for this on GeoGebra, you should be able to find this worksheet. And that's how we can share some work with our students so that they can um, interact with them. Uh, if we go to our GeoGebra account and hit profile, under profile, you'll see this activity I just created. I'm going to go to details and from details you click the share button and you can then get the embed code and we can embed this into a, a website then we can copy and paste that code uh, into our website and then the GeoGebra worksheet will be live and interactive right in our website or in our learning management system uh, so that students can interact with it as we're teaching them the concepts of reflections Okay, so there's the video. I hope it's helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions.